Welcome to the Spell of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baje. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today we are looking at the Dominion Mandate. The Dominion Mandate is the mandate that God gave man in the beginning. Evidently spelled out in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion, he said. So God gave man the mandate to rule over the earth, the mandate to exercise dominion. Praise God. And that is the dominion mandate. Now, what is the dominion mandate all about? It is the mandate given to man to extend the kingdom of God on earth, to extend the kingdom of God to everything that God has created in the seen realm. That's the dominion mandate. And what is the content of the dominion mandate? The content is that man should rule over the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. That means it exempts man ruling over another man. Man can lead other men, but man is not given the power to dominate other men. That means you're not meant to put under another man. You're meant to lead another man. There's submission, yes, to authority, but there is no rulership as in dominating the spirit of other men. And that's the content of the dominion mandate. Now it takes the devil to rule over the spirits of other men, which he did in the beginning when he um, tricked Eve um, and to disobey God. God said to not eat of the fruit of knowledge of truth, not of good and evil. And then he said, you know, they could eat of it that they would not die. God said they would surely die, but he said they would not die. The woman was deceived. And then the man joined in and both of them fell. And since then, man began to rule natural men. Men who are not under, not under the rulership and dominion of God. Man, I mean, the devil rather began to rule over natural men. And that rulership is illegal. So Jesus Christ came and exercised dominion over Satan, being man's substitute died instead of man and took back that scepter of dominion from Satan and gave it back to man. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, man can rule over demon spirits, over the trees, the plant kingdom, animal kingdom, the everything on earth. That's the dominion mandate. And this mandate is the mandate to extend the rulership of God to the earth. And man is that connector between heaven and earth. And that's why God made man in his own image, a spirit being like him, to extend his dominion to the earth. Listen very carefully, beloved. You are a king. And God has made you with the capacity to rule. You have a mandate from heaven to rule on earth. You see, when man is complaining to God about what is happening on earth, and God looks at him and says, what are you doing with the mandate I've given you? God is the God of order. He wants you to rule over your finances, rule over your environment, rule over your body, rule over everything that is around you because God has given you the mandate to exercise dominion. And in the name of Jesus Christ, you exercise dominion. Do not allow your circumstances rule over you. Take charge of your environment and extend the influence the dominion of God to the visible realm where you are at the moment. Praise God. That is the dominion mandate and is given to man. The scepter of dominion is in your hand. Go ahead and use it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.